Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on linear programming. So what we need to do in this problem is we need to read the story problem. We need to come up with a set of inequalities, graph them, find the feasible region, the shaded region created by the graph, find the corners of the shaded region and use them to test to maximize the profit. Okay. So RAR Industries makes bookcases and nightstands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by saying that X is the number of bookcases. And I'm going to say that Y is the number of nightstands. Okay. Usually I would suggest reading through a problem before you start doing any notes, but I happen to have read through this one. Okay. Each bookcase takes two hours to put together and costs $5 in material. Each nightstand takes an hour to put together and costs $4 in materials. RAR Industries can use 1420 man hours to, and spend 4180 on the production of the two items. The company will make 135 per bookcase and 75 per nightstand. Okay, so it looks like that the conditions on making the bookcases and the nightstand, the first condition um, is the number of hours, and the second is the cost of materials. Okay, X and Y. It says each book cost takes two hours, so that's two X, and costs $5 in material, that's five X. Each X is a bookcase, it's two hours per bookcase, it's five dollars per bookcase. Each nightstand takes an hour, so that's plus one Y to put together and four dollars, so plus four times Y for the cost per nightstand. Okay, RAR Industries can use 1,420 man hours. So this is the total hours available. And because they can't go above this, the number of hours for building the bookcases and nightstands has to be less than or equal to 1420. They can spend 4180. Same deal. This is their budget. They can't go above this. So whatever they spend on creating bookcases and nightstands has to be less than or equal to this $4,180. My last two equations, which you have to put into your situation, are these logical ones. X has to be greater than or equal to zero, and Y has to be greater than or equal to zero. This forces your graph to stay in the first quadrant. You need to put these in because you can't produce a num negative number of bookcases or a negative number of nightstands, so you need to put the inequality in there for that distinction. My last is it says how many should be made to maximize the profit. So their profit is going to be $135 per bookcase and it's gonna be $75 per nightstand. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to start graphing these lines. So to graph these lines, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna graph by in, uh, intercepts because graphing Y equals MX plus B with numbers this big is not practical. Okay, so I'm going to say 2x plus y is equal to 1420. I'm doing equal because I don't need the inequality for my intercepts in the basic graph. I'm going to start with my x-intercept. So if y is equal to 0, 2x is equal to 1420, or x is equal to 710. If x is equal to 0, then y is equal to 1420. For my second equation, I have 5x plus 4y equals 4180. For my x-intercept, I set y equal to 0, and x is going to equal 836. Then I set x equals to 0, and y is going to equal 1045. Okay, so my basic sketch of my situation. My x-intercepts are 710 and 836. My y-intercepts are 1045 and 10, sorry, 1020 and 1045. Oh, sorry, 1420. Okay, and the 710 and the 1420 connect together. 
and the 1045 and the 836 connect together. And the last two equations that I have, x is greater than or equal to zero, just means that we stay to the right and y is greater than or equal to zero says we stay above, forcing us to stay in the first quadrant. Okay, to figure out which of these four regions I'm going to shade, I'm gonna do a little bit of testing. I'm gonna test the point one, one. So if I test the point one, one to see if I shade that direction, you can test any point, um, is two times one, plus one less than or equal to 1420. Yes. Is five times one plus four times one less than or equal to 4180. Yes, which means both lines shade towards the origin. So this is gonna come down and this is gonna come down. I'm gonna end up shading in this four-sided figure right here. And though this four-sided figure has an infinite number of points, finite number of bookcases and nightstands, but an infinite number of points. There are four corners to this shaded region. The first is 0, 10, 45. The second is 0, 0. The third is 7, 10, 0. And the last, I have to do a little bit of work to figure out. So if I look at this as these two lines, line one and line two, I'm gonna work to eliminate my y values. So I'm going to take four times my top equation and subtract my bottom equation. So four times line one minus line two. Four times line one is gonna be eight x plus four y is equal to 5680. And then negative of the line two, I don't subtract. I always multiply through by that negative one. The reason is when you start subtracting, you will subtract the first term. You might even subtract the second, but probably by the end, you will no longer be subtracting. So having the negatives there just reminds you what we want to do. So this is three X equals 1500, which means X is equal to 500. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back into my original equation. So I'm gonna say two times 500 plus y is equal to 1420, which is 1,000 plus y is equal to 1420. Subtract off 1,000 and y is equal to 420. So I now have an ordered pair, I need to test it, is five times 500 plus four times 420 really equal to 4180 as it goes, it is. So this ordered pair of 500, 420 is my last corner. Okay, whew, a lot of work to get here. We have four ordered pairs. One of these combinations of bookcases and nightstands will give us our maximized profit. So I'm gonna test all four of them. If I make zero bookcase and 1,045 nightstands, my profit is going to be 135 times zero plus 75 times 1045. And my total profit is going to come out to be $78,375. Okay, now I'm gonna come around to my next one, 500 for 20. So my profit is gonna be 135 for each of those 500 bookcases plus $75 for each of those 420 nightstands. I throw that into my calculator and I get $99,000. All right, well, what happens if I have 710 bookcases and no nightstands? So 135 times 710 plus 75 times zero. And the profit in this case is going to be 95,850. This is gonna seem strange. I'm going to test out my origin. Why? I just do. I have four corners. I'm doing four tests. We can see that this is where our uh, profits will get maximized. So my final answer is going to read um, the maximum profit is $99,000 for 500 
bookcases and 420 nightstands. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something about linear programming. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.